Hi everyone. Hope everyone are safe and are doing well. And uh, I am Alekia from third year. So today is the ideation competition. So actually um, the first thing I think I should start with is, is the impact of innovation in Indian economy or Indian culture. So uh, whenever there is innovation these days, it's all about building communities, improvising cultures and developing human capital. So today we are very honored and welcome and we are, we are very happy to have this competition such that all the young minds will also be uh, you know introduced to this concept and to this process. So as process is more important than the destination. So for this, I'm very glad that uh, we also have uh, our uh, honorable principal sir who is addressing the gathering and uh, I would like to ask to Neela Kantapa sir to uh, bring the uh, inaugural report. Yes, thank yes, you. Sir. Thank yes, you Aleke. So good evening all. Uh, good evening principal sir, good evening guest Srinivas Reddy sir. Uh, colleagues, uh, all the participants of uh, IAC event switching of uh, POCs. So coming to the inaugural report, uh, totally 25 teams have registered for this uh, pitching for POC proof of concept, uh, uh, this uh, event competition. So in spite of uh, semester end examinations, practical examinations, so we, students have turned up very nicely. We are very happy for that. IAC, IAC team is very happy, is encouraging, uh, very encouraging moment for that. But due to second years are having going on mid examinations, so we omitted them and uh, remaining 17 participants, uh, 17 teams have given chance to uh, today's uh, pitching event. I wish you all the best for you. Uh, coming to the events of this IAC, we, we have conducted a seminar on My Successful Story by Successful Entrepreneur, workshops on entrepreneurship, IPR, patent rights, uh, sessions on problem solving, ideation are recently conducted by EC department. And uh, we are planning to have field visits as soon as exams are uh, completed. Apart from this, IIC, from the IAC, we are going to organize uh, special events on the occasions like National Environment Day, Pollution Removal Day, World IP Startup Day, World Environment Day, and uh, World Energy Conservation Day, etc. So I request all the participants, all the IAC members, all the students are the members. So to come forward for the events to be organized, so they should ask what kind of event really will require you to make to become emerging uh, entrepreneurs. So this is our motto of this uh, uh, IAC. Uh, and uh, on behalf of BBRIT and on behalf of IAC uh, in Institute Innovation Cell, I thank wholeheartedly Srinivas Redigaru for accepting our invitation immediately as soon as we requested. So we have very good association with Srinivas Redigaru. Uh, he has conducted uh, in IT departments uh, with so many web web webinars and is also uh, on behalf of Reno software is uh, guiding uh, third year IT projects also in consultancy projects. So we are very, very thankful to Srinivas Redigar. So with these few words, I wish you all the best for all the participants. Thank you, Alec. Thank you so much, sir, for your inaugural report. And um, as we all know that we have with us today IAC members and uh, our uh, honorable principal, sir. So uh, I would first of all, I would like to uh, uh, invite principal sir to address the gathering for our wonderful students. Good evening, uh, everyone. Thank you, Srinivas Redigaru, for really taking part in this event uh, with our invitation. I really <coughs> look forward to your uh, active suggestions. And also, I wish to see how our students are really participating and uh, presenting uh, their what you call it as uh, their ideas and uh, how they are taking it forward. So uh, I thank the, the Institution Innovation Council organizers, especially Dr. Murli, then Dr. Chinnaya, and right now Dr. Neil Kandapa is heading the complete uh, the innovation cell group. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Mr. Chandrababu, who is continuously uh, assisting uh, 
Kathunil Kantappa in this and already Chindra Babu has done many events during this year and I am sure that slowly we need to penetrate among the students by bringing a culture among the students regarding this what I call it as the innovations. So that, that's the basic purpose of for which we have initiated this and as many events as possible, as many uh, what you call it as uh, people uh, as possible, the students have to be exposed uh, and the students should feel that they should open out, uh, they should come out uh, and I am sure with the introduction of the right now what we are doing, the idea ACT, idea labs, uh, I, which will be open for 24 by 7, a lab which is for the students, by the students, uh, and they are the, uh, what you call it as, uh, they only uh, completely take over that lab. We don't really, from the faculty side, we are not going to be the in charges for that lab, and we hand it over the keys completely to the students, uh, and it's a 24 by 7 where whatever you feel like, uh, you need to really your ideas making it into a shape uh, and then giving them what you call it as uh, the your mind, your thoughts should be really developed into a prototype. So that facility, maximum three months, uh, you will be having uh, that facility very shortly with you also. We are really looking for uh, that facility also very shortly we will be allowing you into that lab also wherein we are really providing you number of 3d printers laser cutting machines drilling machines every what not actually so any student of this institution can walk in and work there for any length of time so these are all mainly intention is uh, to really provide you because as an engineer you need to think rather than just muck up something so that thinking ability to improve that we're all doing this work. How best you can improve your ability to think beyond border. That is what which we are looking for. That's only the thing which takes you to the success level. So kindly be open, present your ideas boldly and right you don't never have an opinion that initially itself you are thinking what basically whether it work or not first present yourself the moment you open out everything is possible only thing is we need to have that uh, grit to take it forward so with this uh, i really thank again once again for giving me this opportunity to both uh, Dr. Neil Kandapa and, uh, and Mr. Chandra Babu for giving me this uh, opportunity to participate. And I am sure that this will go a long way in providing the students uh, a platform for presenting their ideas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And um, so I think so I think that um, as we have our chief guest, Dr. Srinivas Reddy, sir, Mr. Srinivasalu Reddy sir, so to give a brief introduction about him because we have come a long way in seeing various entrepreneurs and uh, various, uh, you know, uh, technical leaders who uh, who are into industry for several years are addressing us. So we have with us uh, Srinivasalu Reddy sir. He's a senior manager at OPSRAM. He is also an ex-cognizant and ex-optum and uh, also mm -hmm. He is he has a good experience in leading quality term teams in product startups and specialities in IT OM and IT SM. And he has proven experience in implementing CI or CD pipelines using DevOps for performance testing. And he also initiated and implemented new practices as in sprint performance practices along with typical non functional testing pros, uh, practices. He is currently uh, I mean he in his domain, he's now currently interested in uh, in developing more on uh, ML and blockchain technologies and also exploring towards implementing open source tools and frameworks. So, uh, sir, uh, from our side, we welcome you cordially and uh, we would like also like to uh, ask you to share your experience on innovation in projects and how youth leading technology and startups. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation and uh, I'm always for the students who come up with uh, young thoughts and uh, which can be transformed to be a good products which can help the society and also the world, right? So the world is changing very fast and growing, I would say. Uh, if you see, uh, I mean, the young startups coming up, okay, especially uh, in India, if you take Hyderabad is 
uh, booming like anything if you see and uh, more of like unicorns uh, coming up and they're transforming. And when I started my career, uh, the startup culture was not that much. Uh, I mean, but it was there, but not aware. And also it was uh, slowly uh, coming up. But now if you see almost uh, 15 years later when I started my career, uh, it's like uh, daily uh, I can hear about one startup in the news especially. And I don't know how many of you have visited T-Hub. Uh, and uh, there are, uh, I visited for an event when I was in my previous company. So for a coffee chat, I used to talk to, I mean, I was, I, I talked to almost five to six people uh, where they came up with the different ideas in just one hour of span. So it means the wave is like anything. And uh, I, I really encourage and um, appreciate all the young minds who are coming with new thoughts. But what I would suggest is the thoughts which are, I mean, uh, successfully can generate the business, I would say, because people always look at the business, right? So which can be, I, I prefer rather than only in terms of business, socio entrepreneurship, I, I really appreciate because if you're doing something, it should help the society in the same way it should help your business as well rather than getting the business alone for ourselves. So uh, I really appreciate the young minds who are coming up to present the ideas here. And there are so many ventures also now to support you guys if the idea is really scalable and if the idea is really usable. So please, while you are uh, initiating or starting up any uh, product or any ideation which can be seeded and which can be planted and grown. So don't leave it and be consistent and try to make it into a fruitful one to get the better outcomes, okay? And we have many areas right now in the uh, industry. Uh, you, you take anything, FinTech, you take healthcare, health insurance, okay? Uh, in anything business, you can adopt any technology also right now, right? So technology is the enabler, but whereas the, I mean, uh, LVB line of business, maybe it is, Agritech or FinTech or health tech, whatever. Okay, it should be the end outcome for the user. So don't worry about the technology, but be uh, think about the business use case, what we're going to solve and what can help the uh, people, okay, in terms of the problems or uh, difficulties what we're facing in the real world right now, right? With this, yeah, I would like to move forward and you can take up. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your views on this. And uh, now uh, the competition, uh, let's start it. And uh, we have 17 teams here and uh, each team will get 10 minutes of time and uh, including the queries part. So, uh, sir, Rilakantapa, sir, shall I start inviting the team one? Yes, sure. Yes, sir. So the team one is uh, the participant is Prakash Reddy. Yes, Central if you're here. Yes, sir. Roll number, can you tell me the roll number? Yeah, the roll number is 192 a 1264 No, just a minute. We'll give share. Okay, Prakash Reddy, are you there? Just unmute yourself. Okay, I like to call the next team, second team. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, a second team is roll number. Two zero two one five a zero two one four. It's Sahajan Godgu. So yeah, hello, Alakia. Could you please make me presenting? I'm present here. Yeah, yeah. I would like to share the screen. Yeah, go ahead.
you can share your screen sajan chandrababu sir give permission ah uh, yes sir just a minute you can make him presenter yeah thank ah, you sir sir i give you sir you can share yeah sahajan you can <coughs> share your screen yes sir yes i am on and mute and go ahead all the best thank you yeah you'll have 10 minutes yeah okay sir so greetings everyone i'm sahajan and i'm here with my teammate archana and we are from thadia triple b so we came up here with a idea called insight Sajan, you are not audible. Sajan, you are not audible. He is, I think, try to rejoin, sir, due to. Oh. Audio Maybe on. network bandwidth ah. issue. He will join. Okay, shall we go with third team? Alekya. So shall I go? With yeah, yeah, third team, please call. We can conduct this last at last. Okay, sir. Team three. Yes, sir. So the third team is. Bhavya, uh, the roll number is one nine two double one a zero one one five. Yes, sir, I'm right here. Please make me the presenter. Hello. Yeah, team three. Am I available, sir? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. I am Sahitya, studying third year in biomedical department. Here are my team members. Uh, Shambhavi, she is also from Bhavya. She is from civil department. Aditya, he is from mechanical department. We collaboratively build a device called Puff Puff Mouse Mouse. So have a look on it. Over to Bhavya. So one second, sir. Can you please confirm if the PPT is visible? No, it's not visible. Just a second, sir. I have shared my screen, sir. Sir, now it's okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah, now it's visible. Go ahead. Uh, sir, can we start over, sir? Yeah. Wait. One second. Now it's okay, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. 
<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. I am Sai Teja, studying third year in biomedical department. Here are my team members: uh, Bhavya, she is from civil; Shambhavi, she is from biomedical department; Aditya, he is from mechanical department. We collaboratively build a device called Puff Puff Mouse Mouse. So have a look on it. Over to Bhavya. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, in today's world, there are millions of digital devices whose market value is around three thousand three thousand million dollars. Did you know that fifteen percent of the entire world population is suffering with some sort of disability or the other? But when we look at the numbers. the number of devices that are made for uh, disabled people are much lesser and the market is falling short to satisfy the needs of such people so uh, which which sets them back further and making their life more and more unfair than it is already so which is why assistive technology is a necessity in today's world it, it ensures to maintain equality and opportunities among the community so uh, move the slide sai yeah so uh, although there are various types of disabilities i think we as a team kind of are more associated to uh, more to challenge people because of one of our childhood friend her name is harshita uh, she was in school with me and she was born without hands so she always had this issue where uh, she was uh, i mean i would say digitally backward because she couldn't use her hands to use the mouse so this is where we conceived the idea of uh, building a mouse for her so uh, and not just her and for many kinds of people like her who are paralyzed or um, amputated or having any of cerebral fallacy issues or something uh, so we wanted to make their life easy by making a device so we've incorporated uh, many details into our device you can uh, hear more about the device from shambhavi over to you shambhavi thank you bavya coming to the literature survey the number of disabled people is growing partly as the results of the population growth people with several motor dysfun dysfunction needs regular support for daily activities based on the concept of assistive technology the development of the sip and puff interface that enables communications and control of device previously the sip and puff or breath control system is used to control the wheelchairs like a front and back indicate the direction and the movement of the wheelchair has we inspired with this technology so we thought to implement in our project to control the computer like double click select movement like left and right up and down etc with the help of joystick and also we are implementing four levels of sip and puff for different functions along with this we are providing low weight device to avoid discom discomfort for user furtherly we are thinking to implement this technology to control various device now the presentation is con uh, continue by aditya coming to the solution which is our device our device our okay. device is completely redesigned to a conventional mouse whose inputs and controls can be entirely operated by the user's mouth the device is wearable like your conventional headphones where the microphone or the mouthpiece acts as an input similar to the mouse this mouthpiece consists of a dual axis joystick providing the control of the cursor and and the pressure sensor embedded into the system which allows for left and right click function via sip and puff action of our mouth the shaft and the head of the joystick is 3d printed with food grade pla and is designed with ergonomics similar to a drinking straw the shaft is hollow which incorporates a flexible silicon tube which allows for the interaction of sip and puff to the pressure sensor the construction of the device is made such that there are no electrical components inside the user's mouth the circuitry and the mic and microcontroller interface with Arduino Nano and Leonardo are installed into the casing keeping the safety of user in mind this device makes for a convenient and a user friendly alternative for the motor disabled to interact with digital devices hence so this concludes our presentation if anyone has any questions we'd be happy, happy to open a discussion thank you so A very good. Uh, I mean, Sahas, right? 
the name Saitej and team. Yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, good one and uh, appreciate uh, because it will be helping the people who have some, I mean, physical problems and all. So my question here is, um, uh, is what is the stage of this? This is just a prototype or is it, what is the state of this particular POC right now? Sir, present we are so, working uh, on it, sir. Come again. Yes, yeah, we build uh, we build the basic model. So there are like a few testing uh, that we need to perform it before we like claim it to be a project yet. I mean prototype. So you mentioned you are using Arduino Nano, right? So what is the weight of the device that the user can handle and where they have to keep it on, on their head? So Sai, can you please go to the uh, methodology slide? So as you can see, it can be uh, worn as a head headset with a microphone. The microphone part will consist of the joystick, which is custom made, and all the hardware will go and it is distributed among the two ear pieces, uh, as you can see. Yes, sir. I hope that what? answers your question. What is the weight of the device? So since we're still in the building stage, I would not be able to tell you, but then it would be less than 500 grams. 500 grams, less than 500 half grams. Yes, sir. No, what I'm looking at is um, because the user has to hold the weight all the time. So it might be additional pressure. OK, additional uh, thing. So no, this is a headset, so he can wear it on his head, he oh. or she. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, don't you have any uh, similar devices in the market right now? Sir, there are devices not for specifically uh, a mouse, um, but there is such function for uh, people with cerebral fallacy to operate their uh, uh, wheelchair, sir. So, we've adopted the same technology in our device, but then we'll make it more digital by uh, using it as a mouse rather than moving a wheelchair. No, correct. I have seen a couple of devices for the people where they can even operate with the joystick kind of. With the chair. Yes, sir. Yes. How different is that? So because uh, I mean, because we're using pressure sensors as well, the selection is also uh, easier for people without hands. And the joystick, this just joystick can be operated with mouth. So uh, it minimizes the uses of hand. So I think it is very uh, user specific. No, OK. Maybe uh, if, if I can see the actual um, I mean thing, maybe I can suggest more. But at this moment, I have one suggestion if you can improve. So yes, sir. if you can instruct OK with the help of the mouse, I go left, go right, something like that. The joystick should move automatically so that the wheelchair or something can be controlled through that voice record. OK, voice command. So if it can be possible or feasible, uh, try to think towards that. It's my uh, suggestion basically. Yes, sir. thank you so much. OK, yeah. What is the cost you're anticipating for this? So currently we've uh, acquired all the components, so I can give you the cost minus uh, the cost of 3D printing, which will be minimized after. Uh, I mean, when we are mass producing it, we can produce it like uh, normal casting only. But then now that we are 3D printing just for the sake of prototype, I think it will be more expensive. So we are estimating over 3000. I mean, under 3000 itself, but then we gave an estimate of 3000. Total total device cost. Yes, sir. Total device. Even this can be used for multiple. Yes, sir. This can be used for multiple uh, screens like TVs and uh, laptop PCs and tablets, etc. Okay. Alika, can you invite next team? Yeah, yeah. So the next team is one nine two double one A zero five four zero. Uh, Shekhar Bopanapalli. Shekhar, if you are present, sir will give you the present is option. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. 
Shekhar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is my voice audible, sir? Yeah. A little bit be loud. Uh, you will be yes, given. Uh, you will be given control. Share your screen. Yes, you can share your screen. Hi, party. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, good morning, everyone. I am here to present my working prototype that is Kisan Hilgis. Let us quickly move into the abstract. Sorry to disturb you. Is not... Your PPT is not visible. Shake up. Maybe bandwidth problem. What is the title of your project? Kisan Help Disk. Kisan Help Disk. Yes. Sir. Yeah, now Sorry. it is visible. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it so? Yeah. Yes, sir. thank you. Yeah. Our country is an agriculture land. 60% of the people do. So are you using yeah. Wi-Fi now? Are you using one of the major sectors? Are you using Wi-Fi? Yes, no, sir. Uh, video is disturbing. Mobile. Mobile only. That is a problem, I think. Video is disturbing. PPT is not visible. Unable to. Sir, yeah. Sir. Now it is coming and going. Oh, okay. Sir, okay. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Sir. Sir, shall I present it at the end of the session? No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you want go to ahead. present the letter? Uh, yes, sir. I will use my wife, sir. So that. Or also next team. Yeah, okay, as you wish, as you wish. So team four pending, team five. Alekia. Alekia, can you call team five? Is anyone related uh, belongs to team five? Just unmute and respond. Team five. Team five, Gandhi. Yes, sir. Yeah, five M seven. You go ahead. And share your Gandhi. screen. Sir, is my PPT is visible? Sir? Yeah, wait, wait. Uh, now it will. Go ahead. One minute, sir. <clears throat> so, good evening to one and all. My name is Gandhi. Our project name is Omni, which is actually is a virtual assistant, which we are converting into operating system. My teammates are Charandas, Hemachit and myself. Now, what is our project is it is actually based on artificial intelligence. So it actually acts as same like a virtual assistant only. But the only thing is it can make addition it will having the additional features of controlling home automation car automation and many others as you can see the abstract here my prototype name is edith even that i am the hero sir am i audible yes 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 you are audible yeah nowadays uh, so many people are working with laptops and computer. For them, it will be a lot of stress using the laptop by seeing hours to hours. So it would be a lot of stress for them. So to avoid it, I have created this prototype, Edith. So we can avoid the screen by using our voice. So our laptop will take input as our, 
or always will be taken as input to our laptop using a microphone which is inbuilt by giving voice command the operations will be working let me show you the architecture how it will be working we will be having a user which will give voice input and this prototype recognizes the voice and triggers the key command of the command and implement the application so how this application works when this application is open actually we have to be given a password and the password is our face it detects our face if it is a correct user then the application will be open if it is wrong user the notification will be sent to the actual user so these are few modules password when the valid data is entered to the pc then the user will be getting the authentication of this prototype after the application is open it warmly welcome us to using this application so this is the data flow diagram of the prototype when the user will be given the password then the application will be turned into the listening mode and it will hear the voice command when the voice command is present in the code then it will be starting the application or else it will again go to the listening mode and try to recognize perfectly so these are few features of the prototype we can open google youtube we can control uh, any iot device within us we can track phone numbers we can track phone numbers we can play mp3 and mp4 files we can take screenshot within a presentation or in a meeting and we can we will be having a smart smart calling system where virtual assistant itself will take over the call and answer to the next person so and this prototype will be connected to cct surveillance which will be detecting the activity with within it and it uh, attends it will give attention to the user if there is a, any robbery or any unusual activity nearby him now i am going to implement the prototype so i have done it using python in vs code so as you can see i am running the prototype just a minute sir sorry sir due to poor internet connection it is not working but i can show you in ppt sir so this is how actually it works when i ask the virtual assistant to tell me about sachin tendulkar it will go to google chrome and searching about the sachin tendulkar not only that it will tell us few lines about sachin tendulkar also and we can know the covid cases how many deaths are happened and how many recovered how many cases are there present also so this is my project if you have any questions i am ready to answer sir we have many uh, digital assistant site right, uh, gandhi and uh, how it is different we have uh, google assistant we have 
uh, Amazon Echo, all these things. So how it is different? They also use the same response. Yes, sir. In so Amazon is, services, yes. uh, in Am Amazon Virtual Assistant Alexa and many other virtual assistants have one thing that uh, creating an account, sir. But uh, in recent days, uh, logging credentials have been uh, hacked, sir. Okay. Recently, Domino's uh, logging credentials and uh, the minute details have been uh, hacked, and it was been posted in Google also. Okay. So, what is the specialty of this application? Is the credential the login credential will be within our laptop only. So it doesn't need any database. It will store all the information within our device only. So the idea of making into operating system is uh, actually the only means itself is uh, predominant, which present everywhere. So it can be a multi-purpose. We can also use it for sending mails and other functionalities we have, sir. We can use it in office works also. So it is it is quietly friendly. Any other? What is the status of the project now? Uh -huh. Now it is a prototype, sir. As you can see, I have created an executable file also. So this is the code which I have used for making this prototype. So we can know news. We can search anything in Google. We can message in WhatsApp. We can send a mail. Like that we have so many uh, APKs also I have used here. So I have done any market survey. Yes, sir. So, use your product as demand? Yes, sir. Actually, so who are the target uh, customers for you? Everyone, everyone, sir. Not no, only. You want, suppose, suppose you want to sell complete your idea or complete your uh, product, whether you are going for companies or whether you are going for individuals. I'm going to do it individual only, sir. Okay. I'm also taking a patent on it. Very good, very nice. Which is in progress. Okay. Very nice. Sir, Sinwa, sir, any other comments, sir? What is the total cost involved in your project? Including home automation and other features, uh, excluding the virtual assistant, the total cost estimation is 35, 25 to 30, sir. 30,000. 35,000. 35,000, is it affordable for uh, middle class persons? Sir, actually, uh, these features are only extendable, sir. Okay. Uh, so according to the user, he can adjust the features of the prototype. So based on that only, you need to mention target audience. Sir, ask yeah, yeah. Who is your yeah, target he, audience? I think you want to customize. Based on the requirement, he will... Go on, add the functioning. Seems. In pitching, you need to very clear about your target audience. Yeah, yeah. That will help you. Okay. Alaki, are you there? So, so yeah. sir, uh, with your permission, is there any other suggestion, sir? Sinwas, sir? Or shall we go to next team? Yeah, we can go to next team. So, thank yeah, you, sir. Alec. Yes, sir. So A0540 is ready, sir. Shekhar Bopanapalli. Shall we invite him? Like, shall we ask him to speak? Mm, Shekhar got, I think, some network issue will go at the end. Go for team six. Okay. Okay, sir. So team six is uh, 19211 A048. Uh, Sahiti Goli. Are you ready, yeah. Sahiti? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yes, you can go present your screen. I hope the screen is visible, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, 
Can I yeah, start? Go. Yeah, go ahead. Blank screen. Yeah, it is visible Can you now. see the presentation, sir? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Visible. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Josna. On team, we have Sahiti, Alekia, Neluri. Uh, our team is Grihastas, which is connecting home to the world. So before getting to uh, know about the presentation, I would like to tell you a small incident. So one day I was filling a form and they asked me, what's your occupation of your mom? So I was looking for an option called none. Then my mom just replied me, see, there's an option called homemaker. I was like, yeah, that's none, right? So she told, no, it's actually everything. So what it makes for a woman to be everything and to be what she wanted to be. So adding imagination to that last point. <clears throat> see, our common normal regular woman uh, for turning over into a digital modern. It takes it. That's really interesting. What if a woman makes technology her best friend? Just imagine your mom texting right back to you in an interesting uh, swag, cool English typos. That's really amazing, right? What if an individual business homemade products are turning commercial? What if they reach the local markets? What if homemakers make new friends? What if they can, they're able to communicate? What if they're able to network with each other? What if homemakers are able to learn English and their desires are being fulfilled? So all these questions led us to our initiate to initiate our idea. We thought every question should have the same answer. And that's Grihastas, connecting home to world. The main key features that we want to involve in our Grihastas website is Bridge to Business, wherein the women's individual products are taken to the local markets. The second feature is English communication, which helps them to learn English. And third one is live sessions networking, where women can start building networks, they can start exchanging information. Getting into the first key feature that is bridge to business, we have taken this concept into, we have further divided this key feature into two main subcategories. The first one that concentrates on the products that are for sale. These products can be the cloths they stitch, it could be the masks they stitch, it can be the pickles they make, etc. And the second one uh, concentrates on the service they provide. So looking in depth of, for the first one, the process goes like this. First, if anyone has a requirement for something, for example, say I want 10 jars of pickle in 10 days. So I will raise this query in Grihastas website. And as every woman part of Grihastas can see that requirement in the website, they can raise two kids. And if they feel they're capable of doing that 10 jars of pickle in 10 days, they can raise a token along with the amount they're going to cost. And once the tokens are raised in the website, the technology does the work and arranges all those tokens in order according to the preferences. And these preferences can be the area they are present in, the cost, the quality, the reviews, etc. Order, he, he is able to choose the woman whom he should uh, give that order. So now once the choosing is done, the rest is taken care by Grihastas. The delivery is handled by the website. This is just one way in selling the products. There is also another way to it. The Grihastas website can actually will actually go to reach out to the local markets and the supermarkets. And we try to convince them to give space for the individual women products to be kept in their stores. As we know that individual women have products with them, have skills with them, but they don't have the space to represent their products. So we can help as an interlink between the supermarkets and the women. And once the supermarket confirms their order and if they're convinced or if they have a deal with Grihastas, then Grihastas will start buying the products from the woman itself and they sell all the bought products to the supermarkets at a commission rate. And this is how we can make money. So coming to the second point that is services to prevail. Women just don't provide products. They can also supply services. It can be tuitions, it can be housemates, it can be salons, etc. So area wise availability of their services will be updated by time to time in our website. So whenever a customer is in need, for example, if I want to mate in Miyapur, 
then I can search it in Grihastas and I can get the details of women who are available in Mayapur and who are ready to work. So these services are available in Grihastas. If we come to the revenue possibility that we can have from this extreme BTP feature is, as the Grihastas is acting like an interlink between the supermarkets and the women, and as we are buying stuff uh, formal from the women and selling them later at a commission rate to the markets, these commissions act as our revenue. So that's where our revenue starts. And this is just one way. There's another way to it. Our website. The more visitors we have to our website, the more we can attract the potential ads. And the more ads we get, the more revenue get. So this is how Grihastas can make money. The next feature is. So the next feature is English assistance. As we have known that many women in rural communities or uh, many women who are also present in some urban communities lack are, are having skills but are in lack to express them to potential uh, dealers. So for these instances, we we are also conducting. We also have English assistance. So what do we do? We uh, normally we hire interns or volunteers who are willing to conduct sessions. Uh, uh, for you know homemakers. So when homemakers join uh, our website, they can attend uh, live sessions. Also, we have pre-recording sessions for some basic concepts like introduction, English speaking, enhancing communication skills, and some basic technical skills. So now uh, the classes which we conduct is equal to the sessions wherein women interact uh, virtually with us and also they can also interact with the woman who, who joined like her through in our website. So the very important crucial part in this step is our fun curriculum. So there is yeah professionalism linked with uh, linked in a fun way. So when uh, we don't we don't need uh, uh, I mean we don't need a strict procedure to make them understand some basic concepts learned in a fun way so that which also saves time for them also. So I think our curriculum is very, very crucial in this English assistance feature. And also we will provide tech assistance, which is a basic technical aspects like how to join in a meet and how to attend meetings, how to schedule a meeting uh, and how to, you know, things are very virtual. We will uh, try it. We'll try to drive them virtually uh, and try to bring that basic technical uh, skills they are lacking of. And uh, Sati, can you change the slide? Yeah, so the next is F2. We also have F2 in our Griasta, so which is fun and friends. So it is very important as a community that when we say community, we we were bound with people. So when women meet new I mean, meet other women through our website, so there is a very beautiful exchange of knowledge, very beautiful exchange of culture. And uh, there is uh, uh, the W to W interaction that is woman to woman interaction is what makes our Grihastas unique and special. So we also so this also promotes mental health. So from precautions to preventions because these live sessions promote a very fun way of learning. It can also, you know, distract women from their mental or emotional issues. So which can bridge between them and which prevents them from, uh, you know, being in a kind of stressful environments because our uh, sessions in Grihastas, we build a we build a certain community which will promote good mental health. So and also uh, we also have a feature called Womenify where women understand women. So this means that uh, once in a month, our uh, website live sessions we conduct uh, on uh, uh, women. Uh, I mean, on women issues which is uh, related to menstrual health or whether it is, uh, you know, the uh, whether it is issues related to women and how to prevent and how to, you know, uh, sort of you know, enhancement of those uh, attitudes and which which should be very very normal in this era. So we try to promote them. So the advantages are we have a fun learning experience and also we have we share a freedom of language, basic communication skills, basic English language and basic technical skills are to be shared to each and every woman who join our website. And then we have market exposure. So we can also expand if if a working woman, I mean if a working homemaker who is who has a small scale business who joins our website, the her business 
mucus will be expanded through the mouth talk. So she can interact with other women and expand her business as well. So it is very feasible, which is I mean, uh, these our website provides a very feasible method of learning and uh, also there are no constraints and there's a lot of networking out there. So the market strategy of this is when local uh, so we we can have local volunteers or interns who are uh, who who will be hired by grihastas for the assistance and uh, we can also have cross promotion which is uh, grihastas acts as a commodity between individual women and the supermarkets wherein individual women uh, will know about the potential supermarkets where the products can be sold at and the supermarkets also um, I mean, will be aware of the individual women who will make some amazing products, a wide range of products and also creating traction. That means a very attractive way of pulling women centric brands to our website. So we have Nika, we have Sugar Cosmetics, we have Whisper and we have a lot of brands, women centric brands that are that are very, very deeply rooted in India in a, I mean in Indian economy. So we can also pull that that part of women centric brands to come and make uh, and I mean if they produce a live session for uh, I mean uh, for Grihastha's website so they will get a large community of women who will be able to see their product who will be able to know about that product and also attend att attracting potential ad markets is one of our very crucial strategy wherein we will have some very good um, I mean the the reason why we are adding this feature is because there is a, a whole new community is there in Grihastas, which are um, I mean, which is a woman community. So many women centric brands and uh, uh, high potential ad markets. So they will look look at this. Uh, they will look at this Grihastas as a as a very good potential market because we have a large community of women present there. I mean, they, they look at the product they see in the market, they buy them. So yeah. Uh, looking at the market competitors at present, we really didn't find a lot much competition. So, can you conclude? Are, uh, yes, sir. Solid just a minute. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Uh, so, when it comes to the market competitors, we didn't find a big competition, but there is uh, a, a thing called a scary guidance site wherein they guide homemakers, but this uh, wherein they guide the woman, but this is not much flexible for the homemakers because the homemakers can not sit all the way down uh, in front of the laptop or and they cannot effort that much time. And there is also competition from business sites, but uh, but for being particular for homemakers, uh, our site opens a wide range of opportunities. Uh, the milestone, we need a research uh, which we are already doing and we need a proper team uh, building a website. Uh, we need to initially reach out to the local vendors. Uh, starting at the start stage, uh, we need to gather the volunteers for the sessions, uh, awareness program, and finally we need to enlarge our uh, community. So our mission is, in every home, we hear a word called as some are working women, but Grihastha's motto is every woman is a working woman. A person for whom home is a world to a person for whom the world becomes her home. Grihastha is all about connecting home to the world and connecting homemakers to the world in this digital era. Thank you. So we are open for the discussion. Sir. Nice presentation, Sahiti. I was about to ask about Misho, and you already mentioned that. Okay. So yeah, sir. Yeah, actually. What I see here is uh, I don't know exactly what is the exact problem you are trying to solve here. So, but the uh, bottom line, what I understand is you are trying to help the women by uh, selling their products uh, through your websites, and you are trying to educate them, and you are trying to connect them through some groups where they can share their ideas is my statement. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, sir. So for the homemakers who are, who just see only WhatsApp status as their uh, sales platform or as their networking skill, we provide our website as their networking, sir. OK, so if you see a couple of um, platforms right now, right in the city also, there are a couple of platforms where they can sell even papyrus and all. OK, and also there are some communities. OK, there are some apps 
or applications where they can sell uh, through the communities also. For example, if you take uh, some big communities like my home, OK, through the community uh, selling homemade uh, things, OK, they're able to sell and they're able to make friends, especially for women and all. So and if you consider you're you're trying to help them to sell the products, so it's like more like something like Misho or something like Amazon and they're also educating the women. OK, I don't see something distinguishing factor except that you are trying to bring these three things together uh, in a platform, but I'm not sure about uh, the I mean scalability and also where you get the money because if you have to do all these things, you need a lot of money. You need to place so many people and how do you generate the money because you are selling that you are telling that you'll get commission, but everywhere I mean every product I mean uh, able to sell. So how do you get more money to run that business and all? So how do you get the uh, more profit for the investors kind of and how about the scalability aspects of it? Because these are all something generic. I don't see something difference you are making, but you are trying to combine three things together. That's what the thing I can see. OK, so to, uh, if you see something distinguishing factor, you can definitely make some difference. So to emphasize on the distinguishing factor that is present in Grihastas, the main factor is that here, even though we have Amazon websites like Amazon or me show, which are uh, which are available for the woman today, but they are not completely for homemakers. Now you might ask what's the difference in it? Well, if Grihastas is being only for homemakers and here we are also approaching the local markets and then we are getting the opportunities for women. I don't think Amazon reaches out to markets and completely emphasizes on just individual women products because they also have merchandises included with them. So that's not uh, that's not encouraging the individual business completely. And the other main factor which we can say Grihasthas is different from is based on is the way we are going to educate. The spoken English classes they are not like the regular English classes. We, we you, involve fun you, if you are selling for them. Why do you they need the English? You are helping them to sell those products. Why do they need English? So because we are looking both of them as a different ones. And Correct. we want a woman, a homemaker to be completely. I'll give an example. Done. My mother is a 50 years old. She does not want to learn English, but she wants her products to sell on, on this platform. Right? So how does that factor will be benefited her? You are helping them to sell their products. Why do they need English? So it's not how do they convince them? Sir, it doesn't like uh, so we can take it in this way. Your mother doesn't want English, but she wants a platform to sell her products. Well, my mother she wants to learn English, on, but she has no she products to sell. sell on Amazon. Why, why they should sell on your platform? Because we no, are giving no, it to No, I think sir, here the thing is uh, those who want to act as uh, English tutors, this will come out of the platform. So oh, yeah. we are actually so it give some a... employability. It may give some employability. So we'll have this discussion. I think uh, other competitors are uh, very much waiting. So I'm okay. sorry to disturb. So we'll go for next time. We'll have offline discussion for that. Very deep offline, offline discussion. Surely. Yes, sir. So, the so next shall I invite? Is... Shall we invite next team? Team yes. seven. Alexa, please. Seven, which is one nine. So one nine two double one A zero five and five Ratnapur Baskar. So if you are ready, we can present you. We can make you the uh, present. Good evening, sirs. Uh, is this screen is visible? Yeah, yes. start from the starting slide. Oh, okay. the title title. Oh, okay, sir. Is this visible, sir? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, good evening, one and all. Uh, my name is R. Baskar. My teammates are uh, Venkateshwar Rao and G. Saiwani. Our uh, title name is speaking hands. And coming to the problem, uh, how speech impairment person and a normal person can communicate with each other. It is a very difficult for dumb people to convey their message to a normal people in their daily day to day life. From this, we got this idea. And basically what happened means the sign language recognition is helpful in communication be, uh, between a signing and non signing people. OK, right. But uh, I think when, uh, so many normal people don't know the sign language so that they can't uh, understand the, what the um, sign, uh, what the dumb people are saying. So Indian, so that 
what we can do is uh, recognizing the indian sign language and converting into a voice can overcome that problem uh, recognition of indian sign language by using uh, so many machine there are so many machine learning techniques are there and we can use a very accurate one and that integrate into a uh, app so that we can overcome that problem so so guys here come from architecture in front end uh, by by uh, from, uh, mobile camera we take a video of the uh, video of the uh, uh, signing uh, signing one and what we have means what in sign recognition it uses a principal component algorithm analysis to extract the features from that image from the database the pca algorithm has a two phases uh, training phase and recognizing phase in training phase what happen means uh, each gesture is each, each gesture is represented as a column vector a uh, pca finds the align vector of the uh, covariance matrix and and then they are uh, multiplied by the each their gestures ma matrix to obtain the gesture space uh, in projection in the recognition phase a subjected uh, in subjected uh, gesture is pro uh, projected onto a gesture space and the uh, euclidean distance is uh, computed between the projection and all the projections in that way in that gestures to voice uh, the identified image is converted into a voice or a speech uh, signal using a text to speech algorithm uh, using a google text to speech uh, used to convey and any text to a dot mp3 file storing the voice of the text message the stored mp3 file runs the and output voice can be heard through the speakers so that what happens means a uh, normal person can uh, understand what uh, what this uh, dumb people say and easily and easily dumb people a dumb person can convey their message uh, easily uh, so that the uh, communication will happen uh, easy and they will be uh, satisfied uh, the dumb people can be satisfied uh, in also a deep, deep learning approach we have a hand gestures there are many hand uh, database available on the internet as for this approach we need a huge amount of image uh, we cannot make such a huge da database so use so what we are doing is hand gestures recognition database uh, from the kaggle.com uh, we will only take a hand gestures uh, database and so that we we process the image pro we, we process the image and convert it to a grayscale uh, to cancellation the noises and then we up, we apply the model on it and we can approach uh, we can get a good voice output of the sign in mobile phone through a app. and next to slide will be explained by my uh, friend venkateshwar rao good evening everyone <clears throat> uh, we have we have done some survey this survey primarily focus on the recent development of technologies that is being used for hear loss <clears throat> and speech loss people to converse easily and frequently with usual people this works so far uh, this work so far gone for the development uh, introduced in uh, various technologies and techniques such as smart glasses uh, in cnn uh, and speech to text and etc the proposed system is aims to provide speech to speechless the double ended indian sign language is captured as a series of images and it is processed then it converted to speech and te text thank you Thank you, sir. Do, do you have any prototype? No, sir. It's an idea, ideation, sir. So, how do you convert the gestures uh, by uh, into the text or into the code? Sir, we have a uh, using a deep learning, sir. We have a, a CNN model, convolution neural networks. We can do it. Sir. And how do you decide that every person who is uh, dumb can? Convey the same message in same uh, gesture. Yeah, sir. We will uh, store that uh, MP3 file, sir, in a database. Uh, for particular gestures, we will store a uh, MP3 file, and when he uh, he sign that uh, gesture, the output will be get. No, correct. My my point here is, see, for example, if you take ten people who are dumb, and if you ask them to convey the same message, right? Do you think that all ten people will convey the same gesture or the same message? 
sir there is a particular pattern sir in indian sign language so that uh, we can sir okay good idea is good guys appreciate for the good cause okay uh, if we have it uh, the presentation i would like to see later maybe uh, the prototype okay sir thank you so much it definitely helps a lot so thank you sir like can anyone in second next team yes sir so next we have 19211a02a02a7 archana vadla archana are you ready sir am i audible yes. yeah 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 sir is the screen visible please could you confirm yes yes go ahead Hello everyone. Good evening. I am Achana, and my friend Sahajan are here to present our project prototype, Akhar Varna Jai. This is a device which is helpful for the kids who are facing intellectual disability. We are from third year Triple B. So we are all familiar that nowadays intellectual disability is the most common disability. India has a prevalence of 10.5 per thousand in this disability. and this condition cannot be cured there are many disorders like autism cerebral palsy down syndrome asperger syndrome so all these disorders are related to brain development and commonly shows impact on the person's understanding and socializing children facing this disorder will generally be lack in remembering or identifying objects things shapes etc it is characterized by below average intelligence or mental ability and a lack of skills necessary for day to day living so this is akar varna jai the device made by us akar is shape varn is color and ajay is learning so this is shape and color learning device so akar varna jai is a device which teaches the basic labels of basic shapes and colors eight shapes and eight colors can be identified by this device the shapes need to be identified and and arranged in the so your voice is not stable you are not audible i think other team might can continue is uh, is not audible yeah yes sir yes sir i'll continue better you call him yeah 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 okay. so akhar varna jai is a device which teaches the labels of basic shapes eight shapes and eight colors can be identified by this which expands the vocabulary and helpful in increasing the ability to describe and identify the objects for children facing intellectual disability the shapes need to be identified and every right arrangement is indicated by the led color changing from red to green there is also a voice output which gives us the correctly identified shape and color this improves the functional capability of the children in remembering so this repetitive practice will work like a therapy for the disorder and uh, the kids will remember the shapes and learning learn in identifying adjusting and arranging in the right manner next slide and the the features which highlight akar varna jai are it is portable it is user friendly it is low cost and this is the device which we made this is uh, can you play the video sir yes yeah, so right arrangement of square is indicated by the led color changing from red to green and a voice output will come like square red color and we are not limiting this uh, akhar varna jai only to eight shapes and colors but also we can rearrange them like food water or the daily necessary activities which they are using so that it improves the capability of the kids to understand and remember the shapes and colors so this akar varna jai is a learning aid cum communication device this is portable it is affordable it is user friendly 
it has two outputs like visual and uh, auditory it can be converted into aac device it is alternative augmented communication device and it can be used in special education schools and at home also next slide so there are some types of mobile applications in order to help the intellectual disability facing kids like uh, voice for aac or cough drops speak yourself which will not really help the children to learn effectively we made this device as attractive as possible because it creates enthusiasm in the child to learn the things the technology which we are using are laser cutting microcontrollers leds and eight channel voice playback module and the total cost which we are uh, spent to complete this prototype is 2500 so this is a learning device come communication device children facing any intellectual disability can use this device thank you sir we are ready for the discussion yeah good work uh, achana and team nice presentation nice video prototype and uh, but the cost is very high 2500 uh, for eight shapes or something right it's a very high right so do you think that people will buy this cost sir we are making it as, as a single product so we got this much sir but if we can make it in a bulk then uh, we can reduce the cost very drastically sir okay how much uh, are you expecting it can be reduced to sir we made it with acrylic sheet so for the laser cutting we took around 1300 so that is a huge amount in this or else all the leds microcontrollers are very cheap so uh, from 1500 to 1700 we can make it sir not only for eight shapes and colors but also for all the things which uh, kids are using they can remember also, and uh, it improves the functional capability now you are restricted to eight uh, shapes or colors right so how can you i mean extend it i mean uh, what is your plan of extension of this sir we can replace it i mean now we are doing it for the shape and colors so we can replace the color with the uh, like if we want to learn them fruit then we'll implement the fruit shape or the fruit color onto the block which we are uh, which we are arranging it no no so only from, the that, so from that we can learn them and so we can use it for uh, food or water or like medicine so we need to just uh wearing i mean to say we can just remove the colors colors from there and we need to put the items sorry we can talk about that in the offline maybe thanks yes sir have you did any market competition competitors in this yeah, like this products are available any in offline or online platforms yes sir actually yes sir when we when we uh, brought this uh, with the uh, kids and uh, some schools then we got an appreciation that there are also few devices which are present in the market but they are not sort of voice output command they are just like inserting a key in right position or in certain block in right position is only existing so we implemented voice output which improves the vocabulary for the child so this is new this is unique in our product sir. okay let's okay. go ahead next team yes sir so the next Thank is you, yeah so the next team is we have uh, 19211a05q9 uh, who is uh, sharan babu So ninth, if, ninth team, ninth team. Good evening, good evening. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ninth team is Sharan, Sharan's team. Sharan team. Nice. Sharing the screen. Yeah. Could you please confirm if the screen is visible? Yeah. Go ahead. Visible. Good evening. This is Team Auto Attendance, the single platform for reliable offline attendance. team members are nitesh samit and myself sharan we are currently in the ideation phase and our idea falls in the cloud ai ml team so what is the problem we are trying to solve the need for a highly reliable and easy to use attendance logging system that is i am talking about a software system that can accurately track attendees of an organization and 
enables authorized people to manage relevant data so acquired from the app where could such an app be of most potential replacing traditional roll call attendance in colleges and schools uh, attendance logging in mission critical systems like examinations and for easily mining details from attendance logs to exploit patterns and understand uh, at the college or university level of the patterns found in the data proposed solution a very easy to use mobile application that uses computer vision and face detection to recognize attendees organizations can assign people responsible for the attendance logging of a smaller entity like a single class in a college uh, moreover we are planning to introduce a nifty time limited programming based session concept to enable these assigned people to delegate their powers which is to log attendance for a while to other trusted people example class representatives of a class in non technical terms this eliminates the chance of juking the system for example proxying or other means this is the expected timeline of our project progression so let us have a look at the expected product flow this is subject to change as our use cases and product definition evolves the app uses facial recognition to confirm the presence of attendees so the single step for organizations to start using the app is to pre upload an image or two of the attendee beforehand and they are good to go let us consider the setting of a college classroom teacher opens mobile app and takes a series of photos or a short video capturing the faces of the students this data is sent to cloud to perform machine learning and update records accordingly the attendance records data is immediately deleted after processing ensuring privacy the results are returned in real time for the teacher to verify the results and modify them accordingly data over time is aggregated and can be visualized and exported at any time this product flow right now ensures ease of use and attendance management in mind now over to nitesh to discuss a few more points about the idea yeah good evening everyone Uh, so why us one of the most common problems we face during uh, uh, taking attendance is proxying so using our application we can eliminate such problems suppose say a person who is from other place who is trying to upload the image to get the attendance so uh, our our application not only verifies the face of the student but also verifies the uh, background of the picture so if the peer, if the background of the student is not included or is of classroom then it will be marked as a black mark and it will not be uh, updated into the attendance data and also most face based verification systems are not up, up to date for example uh, if a user or anyone is is wearing mask or glasses then the system struggle to verify that person so today uh, we can leverage advances in ai and search new search techniques like vector search to implement this solution cost effectively so thereby reducing price of service while ensuring the quality sharan next slide so what are our future steps uh, we are looking to test run on uh, our uh, uh, institutions like uh, vishnu group of colleges and also gain the uh, very important feedback so that we can modify our application accordingly and with the help of our friends we would like to also test run uh, in other group of institutions and gradually scale the application and we are also looking to increase the scope by using it in not only for class attendance but also taking attendance in seminars or competitions etc and we will test the product viability through a bottom up approach thank you thank you okay, we have already this kind of applications right right in the laptop space in the camera space or the microcontroller space where the device itself is attached to a stationary position and the persons are uh, expected to walk in so right off the bat you are having an initial investment to make right the microcontroller itself or a device to track the attendance but what if it's a mobile app all the teacher has to do is uh take photo and snap at the time when he wants to log attendance now take the case of a microcontroller or a other some device fixed at the top that is responsible for logging the attendance juking it is fairly simple uh, all you have to do is make sure your face face is visible once and maybe you could sneak away but no, no. you yes. understand my question my question is we already have this kind of applications mobile apps mobile apps to draw out draw the mobile app out and take the photo of the student and log yes. the attendance okay could you 
give us the name yeah uh, actually my kid has written recently uh, syf uh, this uh, exams right syf uh, scientific these are the talent search examinations where um, uh, she has to match their photo and attendance so immediately you should be in front of the camera of the app and they'll take uh, if you click the photo they will match it and uh, they will say yeah your identity is correct this was for and an examination if i'm correct hmm? this was for an examination if i'm correct correct right but what about class attendance so what is the difference yeah right they now 60 students, students we have implement this feature in the app sorry the technology is same right they just use that feature i'm just giving an example where it is available yes yes but you can use the same feature if they want in uh, attendance also some companies can opt it there is no big deal right if the technology is already available technology is available but not in the most privacy secure way i believe today we have techniques like federated machine learning uh, so what it does is it does not send the actual data or image itself to the so cloud are you providing any economic feasibility like uh, can you get it the same thing in a uh, cheaper way low cost oh, i don't think uh, the way we are going to so i think you have to survey sir just now pointed no this earlier uh, you thought that it is not available just now you came to know that uh, uh, this is available so better we will have some you, you you are do some survey and go ahead with the feasibility but the idea is very good even our institute also requires this kind of logging instead of just yeah, now, each student instead of logging uh, separately giving biometric or something something so we can make it uh, even especially in online classes it will be essential yes sir and uh, as you mentioned the name and we didn't know it also means that there is no strong player uh, why don't we have a household name uh, like amazon flipkart that means there's still a chance to capture a huge market we don't have a household name yet uh, that's a chance yes 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 sir shall i move to the next one sir thank you yeah sure sure so next is vishnu vardhan dontula so vishnu vardhan if you are ready One nine two double one a zero eight one two. I think this team is absent. I think. Okay. So the next team is we have two one two double one a zero two eight five. Ramanj Neya. Repeat the number. Sorry. Two one two double one a zero two eight five. I think two one means first year. Uh, I think uh, we are we cannot expect it seems they didn't acknowledge today even in group also. Okay, okay next so team call. Next team. Uh, who is two one two double one a zero five seven three? Either a Sai Pradeep. Yeah, as expected. Uh, I think they just registered. Don't know. Okay. Uh, so next we have G Nandita two one two double one A zero five A four. Yeah, I think. Uh, Good evening. Is, yes, yes, yes. Are you ready? Am I audible? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are first year. Which branch? C S C, sir. Nandita, are you belong to first year? Yes. Yes, sir. I am first year. I am fresh. So, do you are you coming with a team? Yes, sir. We have a team. Team of four members. Where you got trained? How you got this idea of this competition? Sir, we we got this uh, message in the group sent by our CR. So okay. I have an idea. So I thought to implement it just to uh, present about it. Definitely, definitely. So uh, Go ahead. I ordered my team. Share your screen. Yeah. Actually, I shared this information first year. Group. Should I share uh, share my screen, sir? Nice, 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 sir. Yes, everyone, please share the screen. Abhira. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it uh, sir, is the screen visible? Yeah, go ahead. 
Uh, I request my friend Suman to start the presentation and we will continue. Thank you, Nalita. Suman, over to you. Um, to all the respected dignitaries and my dear fellow mates, a very good evening. So my, teammates, uh, my teammates and I created this uh, idea for uh, mainly to focus on the age person in the, in the tough time. So uh, this is an application, you have an idea about it and it's mainly starting. We are always with you. So our team members are uh, uh, myself, uh, Nandita, myself, Nandita, Akshita and Abram. So I'm going to introduce some of the points in the introduction part. I'll learn next way. So this is the wrap, lower sir. So next way, so we mainly focus on the old age people. So when, uh, as we can see in the Congress, many people are getting jobs in uh, areas uh, abroad. They are trying to go to abroad, leaving their parents here. So they want to be in their houses, not in an old age home. So we are trying to uh, we are trying to give them the chance to be at their own homes and do their works by staying at their homes. So we come up with an idea to to give them the things they need. So now my friend uh, Ashita will be continuing on with the presentation. Yes, sir. Good evening, myself Akshita. Yes. Uh, so the ultimate goal of us is to reach out the people, the older people who are in need of primary requirements like groceries, Medicare and all. And also we want to bring a kind of awareness in them like there are some of uh, someone to look after them. And coming to the most important part, the investment part. So the main investment we put in this is trust. We all know that trust is the main component of life. So that main component is our investment in this app. We do trust ourselves, we do trust our work, and we trust in goodness. Uh, talking about the app, it is a single app in which we can furnish all the needs of our old people and also cherish them. So could you please change the slide, Abram? Next slide, please. Next slide. Yeah, here we inserted Previous slide. Yeah, here we inserted our app page which comprises of four sections like groceries, medicines, fruits, and hospital facilities. So coming to the app process, uh, just after immediate uh, installation of app, one should register, uh, register, the, uh, register the details of the elder person. And it comprises of name, age and all the other details of the old people and also they should set the list of requirements in the app itself and uh, further detailed explanation on on this app will be provided by Nandita. Good evening everyone. Sir, am I audible? Sir? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Yes, sir. Sir, as we have already seen that we have four major sections in our app, that is groceries, fruits and vegetables, medicine and hospital. So groceries, fruits and vegetables, medicines are all preset in the app. So groceries are delivered to the uh, elder, elder person home uh, when they are preset in the app. So they, these, these are preset in the app at the beginning of the app and fruits and vegetables are also preset in the app. Medicines are also preset in the app. Uh, uh, at the start of the month, groceries, fruits, and uh, fruit medicines are uh, sent, sent, sent at the doorstep. And every week, fruits and vegetables are sent to them. Uh, now, uh, now next, next comes to the hospital. Hospital is an, the interesting uh, section of our app. So it is, def uh, it is different from all the three sections in our app. Um, it is very easily accessible by the elder person just by opening the app and clicking on the vibrant red logo with plus symbol representing hospital. Just on a click, 
on that uh, on that logo our coordinator will get the information and we will just immediately come into contact with the uh, elder person who is actually suffering from a, a problem and we will uh, ask the ask the elder person about the problem and we will reach out to their home and take them take them to the hospital so this is the service we do with the hospital and groceries are sent at the beginning of the month and uh, fruits and vegetables are sent at the beginning of the week medicine are sent at the beginning of the month which are preset already in the app next coming to the payment methods we have two ways to pay the money first way is uh, um, giving a, paying us some basic amount like 10k and the whole expenditure is done from that 10k only and if, if some more uh, amount is required we will just mail to the family members a uh, family member of that elder person and we will get the money the money from there and the other ways to pay the money is uh, online when uh, um, when items are delivered at the doorstep of the elder they have to pay the money through online the family member of the elder person should pay the money online so this is the how our app works and it's coming to uh, other point we are not only helping elders uh, but also helping the local farmers and vendors through this app we can see many farmers who sell their crops for lesser price uh, than the market uh, market value due to x y z reasons we uh, so we want to help the farmers so we'll get them to contact with the local farmers of that particular area we will buy their produce at the market value by which farmers are also benefited but we will just ask the ask our farmers to uh, follow organic cultivation which as a part of environmental sustainability over to you abhiram continue this good evening sir uh, i am abhiram so, i am please uh, conclude uh, text it at 10 minutes yes sir uh, I'm Abhiram, CSC V section CR. Uh, so, like uh, we are coming to the additional benefits of this app, uh, there are a lot of uh, like uh, two. There are two, three advantages of this app, uh, which uh, for which one already my fellow mates uh, said about it. Like is the farmers who are benefited. Coming to the second one, we can talk about the uh, grocery uh, shop owners and the uh, fruits uh, vendors. Like uh, we just contact them uh, at the beginning before our app is made. So that uh, like we, we uh, mainly focus on the uh, small scale owners, so that they'll be benefited a lot uh, in in their sales and all. So that uh, like not not only the rich people, even the even these people uh, get uh, some uh, kind of profit. And uh, coming to the next one is unemployment, sir. Like if we look at a lot, like uh, every year, a lot of people get uh, passed out from engineering colleges and many many things. But a few, but only a very few uh, amount of people get selected in uh, jobs and all. So there are a lot of people who suffer without a job. So like uh, this app also has like uh, de delivery uh, uh, things and all. So uh, it, uh, it's it's all a, it's also beneficial for those who are looking for a job. That's it, sir. Uh, nice attempt. Uh, being first year, you have done fabulous job. Yes, sir, sir, uh, yes, sir. Any comments, sir? Srinivas, sir. No, good attempt and they are trying to solve the three to four problems in the single app. They are trying to help yes, the sir. farmers and grocery people and all these things. But uh, OK, I mean, we have similar apps already available, but as uh, first year students, it's a nice attempt. It will be better if we can start executing it. Then we will yes. understand the feasibility of it. Okay. Yes, like uh, it was time uh, we couldn't uh, do it. Uh, much more uh, deep. We couldn't go much deep into it, so this was just a pre uh, preface of the app. So that's it. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, great. No. Rather than building the app, if we execute this uh, to give the services, then you will understand the feasibility. I think a bit difficult, but try to uh, attempt it. Okay, you will get the understanding of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, team sir. Team number fourteen is ready. Ready to take the screen, sir. So shall we go with the next one? Yes, yes. So we have next we have is B Nitish Kumar. The roll number is one nine two double one A zero two one eight. Sir, can we present our presentation, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Pradeep, can you please share the presentation on our meeting?
sir introducing of thank you so, for you giving are, this wonder you are which year which year the first year sir we are you are also first year batch okay do you yes. do you have a team yes sir we have a team yeah, innovative zone sir yeah go ahead please restrict to 10 minutes please ah uh, okay sir thank you no problem yeah you are sir firstly yeah go ahead thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity to our uh, first year students sir sir coming coming to our uh, presentation we have a very innovative plan which will save the environment for the future sir so that's why the presentation we are looking is easel sir in this presentation we are you are going to use a batteries which are 100% eco friendly and which are 100% recycled going to the next slide by batteries recycling sir recycling is a process of converting waste into reusable material every reusable material every recycled material is not 100% reusable sir so recycling does not guarantee a good quality products the breakdown of batteries in the recycling process causes emission of toxins that are harmful and thus polluting the environment polluting the environment in the sense we are not giving a good environment for the future so we have to give a good environment and we have to be sustained and we have to use a renewable energy from the environment going to the next slide Arjun, can you go to the next slide? Nothing. Okay. Solution, Arjun. Our daily environment is degrading, so we have to put all effort to improve environment by using the raw materials from the environment. We can build a battery where we shouldn't use and. Metals and inorganic substances to build, and it should be 100% recycled. Some of the batteries which we have used in in our daily daily life, they are the chemicals. We use lead and zinc, that type of batteries. If we recycle that type of batteries, there may be some pollution ejecting to the environment or to the ground or to the water itself. So, man, human life will be endangered. So. we have to take a good step to build a better battery like aloe vera battery or like uh, with potatoes also we can build a battery that can be long last for a, for many months going to the next slide eco friendly batteries like aloe cell aloe cell is world's first 100% eco friendly battery Hello, battery making company working in the green, clean tech sector to achieve the goals, which is not explosive and not as a dear cell. It is prepared from raw materials. Our batteries are scalable enterprises with a high potential to generate 1.5 volts, which is sufficient for our daily uses. In our daily uses, may we may use remotes or we may use that stem cells in uh, some type of electronic devices. which give which will give sufficient power to them so this is the first effort we have put the to this battery this can be long lasted for more more than it play battery this can be protected our environment and 100% recycled this are this batteries are made uh, from aloe aloe vera which is uh, adapted from the nature it's a, itself okay going to the next slide advantages of this system is that it's a reco friendly and they do not cause oil water and air pollution as no hazardous metal like lead and mercury are used in addition it is not explosive and is safe for humans you use as a as used as a explosive electrolytes like potassium hydroxide are not present 1.5 volts green batteries that that that, that, that don't impact the environment 
going to the next slide. The uses of this battery batteries are not exclusive in nature, can be used in clocks, toys, and remotes. These batteries can power low drain, medium drain, and high drain devices. They are one of the biggest waste and primarily cancerous diseases. It was then that we found a green energy solution by developing E cell. These are eco friendly cells. So, so for that, we have given the name E cell. Which is so eco friendly. The future is here. So, this is our first 100% eco friendly battery made from aloe vera and it is 100% Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Working on this aloe vera battery, results shows that electrical energy harvested from the aloe vera under a specific setup condition can be produced an output of 3.49 and 1.1 milliampere. The harvested energy is being channeled to the power management circuit, which can be boosted the voltage to 10.9 volts under no load condition. Which is very, very much advantage than using a triple A cell. Thank you. Next PPT. Conclusion: Our product is an eco-friendly product, which can be recycled further, and it is innovative and renewable. The e-batteries would be 100% natural. Thank you. Last week, who is who is manufacturing this? Are you manufacturing this? No, sir. It's just an idea, sir. If there is an already a company, hello, you sell. You know that? Ah, uh, yes, sir. But we want to generate the same e-cell with another raw material from the environment, like with we, with, with potato and uh, other. Thanks for listening. Yeah, good attempt. So uh, one thing Sarah is asking clearly is, uh, are you manufacturing any uh, thing which is uh, making eco-friendly batteries? Or are you creating any app, something to get the, give the information? Sir, like solar, which can be powered with OK, by using eco-friendly batteries, you want to save the Earth. Okay, okay. Yeah, nice attempt. Being first year, very good attempt. Thank you. Alekka, like like go ahead with the next team. Yes, sir. So we have our next team B Nitish Kumar, roll number 19211A0218. Nitish, are you there? Sir, can we present, sir? Okay. Let this start. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. Let me share the screen. Sir, is the PPT visible, sir? Yeah, you are. You are which year? Third year, sir. Third year. Okay, what is the title? One second, sir. AI I for blind. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, okay. sir, our topic is uh, I for AI for blind, sir. And uh, so, what our goal was to, uh, sir, can, can I start again? One second, sir. Hello? Good. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Good, good, good. Good to see all those responses. Fine. Hello. OK. So database management Hello. systems in our DBMS. We
mute all. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible now. Go ahead. You unmute and speak. Sorry, 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 sorry. So our idea was to uh, combine IoT devices uh, for the blind people. So our main goal was to help them since uh, they are not able to recognize the objects that are in front of them. So what we have decided is to combine this uh, uh, IoT device that is we are using Raspberry Pi and machine learning algorithms. We are using Python language to detect the object that is in front of them. We are using a camera to detect the object which is which is in front of them and which will give uh, give a voiceover to them. So the voiceover will be through a Bluetooth device which will be connected to the ear. So and the camera would be fitted in a, on a cap or a headgear. That's what we thought uh, we thought of. So why did we choose this concept? Because uh, our uh, our goal was to help people and this device would uh, definitely help them so so we uh, so as i already mentioned we are using raspberry pi it is a device uh, which can be used to and you know raspberry pi is itself like a small computer so we can incorporate uh, machine learning algorithms with raspberry pi and then we can uh, you know detect the objects in front of it and uh, give uh, give the voice over of the object like which is in front of them like if there is a book in front of them it will give like it there's a book in front of you so this would help the blind people to recognize the object which is in front of them and it would ease their uh, daily life like a little bit even though it's very uh, yes it is very difficult for them but our device would help them in a small way that is our device and now nitish will continue Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yeah. Sir, when we come to idea verification, our project and uh, it is an object detector and it can serve as a good assistive device and help blind, blind people to know their surroundings better. Sir, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Please go ahead. Yes, sir, sir uh, once we have started working on this problem statement, have uh, interacted with uh, many people i mean many children from blind schools in our in our area and uh, verify verified the idea i mean uh, we have cross verified that is it feasible or not and we found that it is feasible and uh, there are uh, many available not many if you available devices in the market for this object detection not exactly the same product as we do they are for object classification uh, they are a bit high end and uh, they are of too much cost uh, which a normal person cannot afford and uh, we have uh, you can see the uh, verification steps we have followed we worked on the problem statement and we made a literature survey an online survey actually we and, survey. and we have compared our idea with the existing models in the market and uh, made we made some few uh, modifications that uh, exist existing models in the market they are they are uh, a good op they are very good uh, working models but we have added a new feature that uh, we will be giving a voice over which will be very helpful for the people uh, there are a few existing models which they detect objects that's it but uh, we are adding a new feature that is a voice over will be given through an earpiece so that uh, it is uh, very friendly for users i mean blind people and finally we have checked this check this idea with our potential customers and uh, if we come to feasibility uh, uh, while working on the problem statements itself i have found a very huge space a huge gap in the market uh, especially in making the assistive devices for blind people so i thought it would be a good idea and uh, global scope in india alone there are over 14 million people with a vision impairment not vision impairment they are blind 14 million people are blind India is the leading uh, India is the uh, uh, India is at the top of the list in the world in people with uh, blindness and uh, people with vision impairment and globally there are over 37 million people who are blind and over 900 million people with uh, vision impairment so it would hit the market and uh, so uh, it is very feasible and uh, 
when we compare when we compare our product with existing uh, models in the market uh, it's very cheap i mean uh, a normal middle class person can afford it very well uh, total cost of our project is around uh, if we uh, is around 6500 but the existing models cost in cost in lakhs so it would be a better choice for the customers and uh, our team members are uh, myself uh, nitish kumar pavitra uh, spandana and pratyusha other team uh, sir other two members they are not available due to some other classes so uh, thank you sir this is uh, about our model can we go to the first slide first slide i missed the first slide okay yeah no no first one yeah first, first slide slide number 1 one second so you you are trying to build a device here yes right? sir yes sir yes sir and can you go to the second slide can you explain or maybe the repetition yeah okay sure sir so we know that there are many you know visually impaired people uh, as he said that india is in the largest number and the devices which are uh, devices that are existing currently in the market they are very you know expensive so our goal was to bring down the price with a better implementation so that's what we thought and um, our uh, product is named ai for the blind that's what an ai ai for the blind so right. our uh, what you are trying to solve with the touch they are able to detect the object something or uh, the camera will be placed in a cap or a headgear sir and then uh, whatever object is in front of them will be uh, uh, detected and that object uh, you know name will be uh, given through the voice over Uh, Yeah, can we move to next? I like. Uh, can you call the next team? How many are there? Yes, sir. So uh, we have remaining three, sir. And uh, so the next team we. So the next team we have is nine a one six Krishna roll number one eight two one one a one one two three. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, go It's a, it seems blank screen. Yeah, for me it is showing some list of PPTs. Oh, let go. Uh, good morning, sir. So can you open your PPT? Yeah, yeah. Sir, I'm I'm audible. Yes. Yeah, you are audible. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, sir. My name is Abhay Ahmed, and uh, my teammates are Vamshi Krishna and uh, Pratyusha Sanda. Uh, our basically our model is uh, 3D printed economic 3D printed prosthetic hand, uh, and uh, recently we have passed parts together in PSIC and we got certification in that. And uh, the basically the problem is that uh, many people are uh, suffering from uh, below elbow amputees. One so second, sorry, do... sorry to disturb you. You participated in uh, T Hub, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, have you got any prize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got third prize. You got third prize, so it is Telangana level ATL yeah. event, ATL yeah. event, assistive technology medical de development event competition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it developed in our ATL lab? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, basically the problem is that many people are suffering from below elbow amputees. The reason may be due to accidents or surgical 
uh, due to infections and uh, uh, the, the body part like uh, due to uh, cancer the body part may remove uh, mainly the middle class families are working uh, in the in the place where they are uh, facing uh, this problem uh, due to that they are uh, losing their uh, below elbows uh, below elbow amputee below elbows and the reason may be uh, some, uh, interfacing with machines uh, due to some accident they are losing their uh, below elbows so uh, they are uh, came from a, they are from middle class family basically they are from middle class family they can't afford um, mostly expensive prosthetic hands mainly in india 0.11 million amputees are present and every year 16500 were added to that total and uh, uh, the solution is that we are developing a hand a prosthetic hand which is uh, powered by tactile sensor and uh, the hand is mainly used to pick up the things and uh, uh, and uh, the uh, pick up the thing and the, uh, we have designed uh, the prosthetic hand uh, using uh, solid works and uh, we have used uh, abs materials uh, for the de uh, design of this material design of this uh, prosthetic hand and uh, <clears throat> the the weight of the prosthetic hand is uh, light uh, around uh, 640 grams and we have used um, um, development boards and mainly the prosthetic uh, the our pro proposed solution and our proposed solution will be uh, taken by our uh, my teammates coming to pro proposal solution in a prototype, instead of using EMG sensor, we have used a touch sensor and touch sensor is used to control the arms. This is designed in a way that when the touch sensor is gets the value as one, the motor will rotate 180 degrees, then the arms open and uh, when it gets another value as one, then it close. The purpose of this design is to develop a low cost prosthetic hand to help the amputees. In this design, we have used two servo motors and nylon 66 thread and one Arduino board and one touch sensor. Um, coming to next slide. This is a working prototype video. Next slide, please. These are the, this is our teammates. Next slide. Thank you, sir. We are ready for the discussion. Yeah, good work. And uh, with this prospect hand, how much, I mean, can we able to just hold the weights with the weight or sir, how much weight it can hold? Basically, we can hold 3.5 kg downwards and uh, 1 kg uh, in vertical position. Okay, so what is the cost of this hand you are expecting? Around um, uh, 2500, sir. Okay, so have you tried and working with anybody? Uh, uh, not yet, sir, but we have uh, shown the experts in PSI hub. They have uh, told us uh, like it will be uh, worthy to use this uh, model. For the patients. Oh, correct. My we have any photographs. Uh, I, I have seen that kind of uh, device in our ATL lab. In sir, in ATL, sir, in ATL, they have used uh, EMG sensors, but we oh. came with the model of a tactile sensor. So, product is not yet ready? Product, uh, pro product is ready, sir. Product is ready. Product Can you show the, some picture, photo? Just know they Show played the video, sir. Video. Video. Okay. But the uh, thing is, uh, did you do any? Did you take any patent on this? No, did sir. Not yet. No, oh, sir. It's not up to patent to work. Yes. You feel? Okay. okay. Yeah, I have seen your article in the newspaper when the TA have published the winners and uh, congratulations. Thank I appreciate you. the good work. Thank you, sir. Great work. So go ahead. I like the next team. Next team is one uh, Jyotir Lata K two one two one five A one one zero three. Uh, is it from MBA group? 
I mean, I think so, so. I mean, I think it's first year. Okay. Are they ready? Yeah, you, uh, you next you can call the MBA team. Yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, MBA team is not ready. I mean, they are not doing so. So next we have Shekhar Bopanapalli uh, for, uh, I mean, his rule number is 192110A0540. Yeah, team four, huh? pending team yes, four. Uh, yeah, team two also pending, Shahajan. You can complete quickly. So please take only eight minutes. Yes, uh, good evening, sir. Is the screen visible, sir? Yeah, one second. You are says uh, Kisan help this team four. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, it is team four, sir. Shekhar, earlier we got some net issue. Yeah, yeah. Team four. Now he is continuing. He's on help desk. So you are third year, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third year, yes. CS. Oh, go ahead. Please take eight minutes. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. I am Shekhar from third year CSEA, bearing rule number 192118054. I am here to present my working prototype that is Kisan Help Desk. Let us quickly move into the abstract. Our country is on agriculture land. 60% of the people belongs to agricultural background. Farming is one of the major sectors that influences a country's economic growth. Most of the farmers do not opt crop based on the necessity of soil. As a result, they face serious setback in the productivity. Choosing the reasonable fertilizers is also one of the most important part of the agriculture. And the detecting the disease in the first stage is also a very important to increase the crop yield. Regarding this, I aim to provide the services like soil testing centers all over India, crop recommendation, fertilizer recommendation, and crop disease prediction. Yeah. Let us move into the introduction. Agriculture is one of the major sectors in the India. As per government of India, the crop uh, in the year 2020-2021, the production was 298.3 metric tons. And also they have stated that production should be doubled by 2050 in as per country's population, as they need to feed 9.7 billion people of the by 2050. Uh, my objective is, as many technologies like machine learning and deep learning uh, are being developed, I use the same technologies to guide farmers through the entire farming process to make to make a successful yield. Yeah, this is my. Uh, website architecture look like there are four uh, there are four services I have provided soil testing centers crop recommendation fertilizer recommendation and crop disease prediction I will brief these uh, services in the next slide yeah first one is soil your, testing your centers. PPT is not moving so presently I mean uh, the services that are providing the application that's Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. Soil testing centers. Uh, I have provided the information of all the soil testing centers in India that are available. Second one is crop recommendation. Here we are recommending 22 types of crops that are mainly grown in India. Fertilizer recommendation. Here we are uh, tell which nutrients the soil has excess or lacks. According to it, we will give the suggestion to the farmers. Uh, we will providing uh, the information how to neutralize the nutrients in a biological way. Uh, fourth one is crop uh, crop disease prediction. Here we uh, here the user need to upload an image of the disease plant, so it will tell you whether it is uh, whether it is diseased or healthy. If it is disease, it will tell you uh, the cause of the disease and suggest how to prevent the disease accordingly. Uh, these I are the you know, sorry requirements. To you. you can select uh, now. It's uh, moving. Software requirements. The slide. Uh, now uh, let us move to the software requirements. Uh, first one is Kaggle. Here we found our data sets for building our machine learning models. And second one is Google Collab. Here we are using the Collab notebooks to build our machine learning models in Python language. Next is uh, Visual Studio Code. We are using the VS Code editor for building the front end using HTML and CSS. And we are implementing this HTML and CSS in the Flask frameworks. Next, uh, I use the GitHub for uh, deployment and to store the application for further reference. And next is uh, reference in the plat uh, in this platform we are going to deploy our application with the help of GitHub. Uh, next, uh, let us move to the methodology. We are implementing this 
project using machine learning and deep learning technologies the algorithms that are used uh, that are used in this project are linear and sequential uh, the result uh, result of our project is with the help of uh, four services that we are providing in, in providing in the application we, are, we can improve the agriculture providing lives of farmers and trying to make the farmers increase their profit uh, next is my future work. Since I am trying to add one more feature that is crop yield prediction and also trying to make the application very effective. We are also planning to build this application in different languages so that every farmer in India can use it very easily. Additionally, I am trying to implement a uh, question answer system model uh, where I can give the voice input as a question. It will uh, get an answer back in voice. Uh, I will show the working prototype, sir. Uh, uh, any person in India can open the Google and can type here L this dot Hiroku app dot com. Then my website will open, sir. Uh, this is a Kisan help desk. It is a one for all. Shaker, you are not audible. Maybe, maybe your net. And, uh, and net. Uh, this is my objective. And uh, yes, sir, there is some net issue, sir. Yes, sir. Currently unavailable, sir. It will detect to the crop disease. Uh, uh, let us quickly move into the soil testing center. Show the website quickly. So, uh, you, we need to select the. Uh, yes, uh, we need to select uh, No, your site also. Uh, not any of the states, sir. Let us choose Punjab. Yeah, your video also. And we need to submit your... the state. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, your video also stable, it seems. Uh, it is not streaming. Uh, so, uh, so you, you please share the uh, website, website in the chart, chart window. Okay, sir. I will show. I will. I will share the website link, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, if team two, uh, no, team two has not yet. Shaker, actually, there is sir, this a, team. Uh, Shaker, is there any reason you are having only one member, not a, you are not come up with a team? Yes, sir. I asked my friends uh, to join in this, but uh, they are uh, because lots of some, uh, lot of coding stuff is required for uh, developing attractive website. So it will be very nice if you come up with a team. Sir, I already developed it's, uh, it's working mode. Sir, sir, sir. Suggestion, sir. Sir, any suggestion, sir. Yeah, we already have an app called Plantex or something. Plantex it starts with. I didn't remember the exact name. Where uh, in that app you can take the photo of the soil or photo of the plant the disease. So based on its background neural networks, all these things. So it gives the recommendations of the disease and also soil type, which crops can be recommended and also seasons for uh, seeding all these things. So Shaker, this is a so good plant. attempt. I appreciate that attempt so plant. to help so the plant. farm, so but refer that app so and see what else uh, with that app, what are the gaps that app is having and what you can build on top of it. That will be better. So so plantics, it only gives a, 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 what crop disease predictions. It only works a crop disease prediction. It doesn't give the crop recommendation and uh, what are the soil testing centers in India and it doesn't uh, work for the fertilizer recommendations. Sir. Okay, good. Plantix only focuses on the crop disease predictions. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Discuss with us are offline through mail or through uh, direct call. We will provide you for any suggestions. Yes, sir. 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 Y
So we'll go for next team. Thank you. Good attempt, Shekhar. Yes, sir. Thank your audio you. is your audio is too not good. Not good quality. Yes, Sahajan, you can continue. You are, I think, uh, team number two. Yes, sir. Earlier, you got pending some due to network issue. Yeah, sorry for that, sir. Sir, yeah. sir, please note, sir. It is second team only, team two. Okay, sir. Yeah, is this team yeah visible. Go ahead. Yeah, greetings, everyone. I'm Sahajan. I'm here with my teammate, Archana, and we are from third year Triple B. So, we are here with our project uh, idea called Insight. I think must yeah. So actually, we are much familiar with the problem called by blind. So India is a home to around over 12 million blind people, which accounts for one third of world's total blind population. And it is a bit difficult for the blind people to read the newspaper, books, or magazines, and anything which we'll do in our daily life. And uh, this condition may be caused by uh, like uh, including molecular degeneration, cataract, and damage to retina. And uh, so in order to make them understand, there are some other ways like converting the text into uh, Braille code, but it would be it would be more difficult to convert each and every text into a Braille code in order to make them understand. So we so we need someone like assistant who will read uh, aloud all the things he, the blind want to read. So we made the uh, we thought of that device called Insight. So Insight is a device uh, used which is used to use for the blind people to to read the text and uh, read aloud for them. And over to you, Achana. Yeah, Insight is a device where a camera is placed on the spectacles as receiver and output can be heard. Insight is made on the technology called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. Generally, Optical Character Recognition is an electronic conversion of images of printed text or uh, whether it's a scan document or a photo of a document to a superimposed on an image. This, this is made possible with the Tesseract algorithm. Like it identifies, this inside device identifies the dark areas as characters that need to be recognized. And we can use it for different innovations like pattern recognition or feature recognition like uh, letters, numbers or words. It analyzes the patterns of dark and light areas to make up the letters and numbers to turn the scanned image into text. It means it recognizes and converts into digital format. The algorithm which we are using here is Tesseract algorithm. This is commonly known as line finding algorithm, which can recognize 70.2 to 92.9% of the text accurately. With the JavaScript or machine learning from scratch in Python, we need to write the code and give all the commands. For example, if the user is holding the newspaper or the text in the reverse direction, then this algorithm which we are using will identify word to word. And if it is not, if it is difficult for the uh, algorithm to find the way, then it will give the command to the user to change the direction of the holding newspaper to either left or right. Like there are already existing mobile applications and very few similar apps like Amazon Textbook, Simple OCR or RCAM, uh, but which will not really help the blind people to use it more accurately. The features which highlight our Insight device are it is portable, it is compact in size, and it is more uh, it is more economical than the other devices. Like, for example, OrCam is of cost 3.1 lakh in Indian rupee. So we are making it with low cost and it has the auditory output. It can be used in schools for blind people and home. So actually, OrCam is the first thing, uh, first device which has got succeeded 100% uh, uh, perfectly uh, uh, in order to provide the text which the blind want to read. So, but due to its high cost, like 3.1 lakh, the Indians may not, uh, many people cannot uh, offer that. So, actually, in such of that, we try to improvise the same thing uh, into low cost, and uh, we tried for a technology uh, which is cheap and can be developed easily. So that's uh, so in such of that we we got we found OCR. 
optical character recognition actually ocr is much familiar that simply by this example i can show you that in mx in ms office you can open simply a, a docs and you can see a thing like read aloud here which you can see on the screen so these kind of uh, these kind of such things are developer using ocr so this is so by that we can confidently say that we can develop this device and uh, and it won't be more cost like os uh, or cam and uh, thank you sir we are ready for the discussion yeah good work appreciate uh, for the good cause so we have google glass right google lens or google glass they also recently came up but of course i don't know whether it is for blind people or not but it can even read the text on the pages or something correct yeah sir yeah sir. actually google glass every sir actually our main agenda is also uh, without, without using any internet connection like an encyclopedia we are trying to do and also there are some apps which can read text like u dictionary and many things but the performance will depend on the type of phone or the condition of the phone uh, so you know to so independent of internet we made this uh, we are trying to make this device sir. so what is the status of this project uh, actually it's in a research level sir uh, we are tied up with etl uh, staff and uh, they are helping us out okay. so how do you going to reduce the cost of the glasses you mentioned the other variety which is available in the market is still lacks but you are going to give it cheap so how do you yeah sir sir actually uh, recently we found that it is possible with esp32 camera and esp32 microcontroller and audio kit so esp th those are like around uh, 1400 so we thought of making to uh, making the thing with that stuff and sir the existing device which are already there they are using artificial intelligence sir which is really very much costly so we are using the tesseract algorithm a simple algorithm which converts uh, this text into auditory so we can make it for uh, low cost sir. okay why do you think they are not using ocr i mean uh, they don't use any any reason for accuracy or yeah. yeah for accuracy sir but uh, it doesn't mean that the ocr can't able to find 100% uh, we are trying sir like uh, the researchers researchers are still going on and uh, but we can able to make a product uh, which have 92% accuracy for now sure good work so if you have prototype that will be good okay appreciate the good work yeah thank you sir thank you sir next team so that's it sir i mean the teams are finished no so you told some mba team is ready yes sir but uh, they have dropped at the last minute so vaishnavi yes sir yeah chandra babu sir to switch on the cam so that we will have a yes, sir. chat So dear participants, all, all of us, please turn on your cam. Give me a second. So I will have a screen share. Group of online meeting. Are you talking about my video is on? So. Yeah, nice. Till. Faculty two, please join. Alekya, all the participants, some more. So wonderful presentations today. So remaining participants also just unmute your uh, enable your video
Okay. Chandra Babu, can I present the vote of thanks, please? Yes, sir. Just a minute. A screenshot. Yes. Chandra Babu, sir. Yes, sir. So thank you, thank you, Sinwaslu, sir. Sinwaslu, Reddy, sir, for accepting our uh, invitation immediately. So. So your presence is very given very happiness to us and your support is also will continue in future activities so for this activity is successfully completed with the support of participants also and other faculty members majorly uh, our uh, uh, member nilakanta pasar and some other uh, purnachand sir sinwas sir chennai sir murali krishna sir principal sir so thank you very much for management given this opportunity to our students presenting their uh, pitching uh, idea pitching so next thing is uh, 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 coming to participants uh, so your presentation is uh, very excellent so it's real, uh, really appraisable so all the participants give, uh, given excellent uh, idea pitching and we will select the uh, top 3 uh, part, uh, teams and we will inform uh, to you so uh, not today and tomorrow or uh, day after tomorrow so by the discussion of uh, our guest and uh, uh, review committee and then after uh, with the permission of principal sir we will give the cash prizes so thank you sir thank you nilakanta sir for giving this opportunity to me yeah thank you chandra babu and uh, thank you sinvas sir uh, we are planning field trip also as soon as your last exam is completed uh, these all the these these teams can you can participate in the field trip where uh, we can have a successful innovator we will visit uh, successful innovator sure for inspiration so next yes. quarter also we'll go ahead with the uh, competition more events thank you very much thank you Aleka. Thank, thank you very much so with the suggestion of uh, principal sir we are planning to uh, arrange one startup visit uh, or some other uh, industry or uh, small scale industry visits uh, with the help of the, uh, these team members who are given sure. best or who are participated this idea pitching who are interested really sure so, sir Sainu, sir any final remarks sir for all the teams I think Sar is left. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Alekia, for your patience. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Wonderful anchoring. Very good timing. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. For a uh, Mantri, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> you are our inspiration background. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So you attended a complete mall. Congrats, all sir. Way. Chandra Babu, sir, and uh, Nilakandappa, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Ganesh from CAC department. Yeah, thank you, Ganesh, thank for you. joining. Venkata Swami sir also there. Venkata Swami sir, thank you very much. Ganesh sir. Should we set up something? So, yeah, for, 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 for participants, by tomorrow we will announce the prizes in your WhatsApp group. And you can collect during your first exam through by principal sir, through principal sir. Mm, through principal sir, we will distribute prizes. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Congratulations, sir. Successful completion of uh, pitching event, IAC.